Hi everybody, welcome to the Metro Hobbies channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a very popular re-release that Tamiya have just come out with, which is the 12th scale Martini Brabham BT44B race car. Um, really awesome car, really popular from the very famous Formula One era. Um, this kit is incredible. It's a re-release from 1975. It then came out again in 2010 with photo etched parts, and it's out now once again in 2021 and it offers amazing features, amazing details. So let's open it up and have a look to see what it has on offer. Alrighty, so once you take the lid off the box, the first thing you're greeted with is the instruction manual, of course. Now, Tamiya are known for having really amazing instructions, really simple to understand. Their kits are incredibly detailed, but the way that they explain it within their instructions and all their photos is really simple and a really easy system to follow. As well as that, within the instructions, there is a full parts list as well. In case you miss any parts or something's broken or you need to look for it, um, this is always handy to keep next to you. Now, moving on to the actual components, I'll start with the detail where this kit really excels. So, first of all, it has movable working suspension, and it actually comes with uh, coil springs in order to have the suspension moving, which is a really cool feature and something that you really don't see within model car kits. Um, now, this is quite a big car. It is 12th scale. Typically, a model kit cars are 24th scale. That's sort of the generic size. So, being 12th, it is quite a large kit. Uh, I've got the dimensions which are 355 millimeters long, 160 millimeters wide, and 109 millimeters tall. So it's a decent size. Um, so moving on, a couple of the features it offers, it has a working steering wheel which does actually steer the front wheels a very highly detailed V8 engine. And you can see there's a lot of ignition lining, a lot of fuel tubing. So a lot of really awesome details that it has on offer. So moving through to the parts that we have in here, we have a really cool monocoque chassis. So everything obviously is built around this. There's a lot of detail in terms of parts. Uh, we've got obviously the body panels. Now, the awesome thing about these, they can all be removed after you've built the model. So if you're wanting to show off all the engine detail that you've built, all the incredible suspension work, etc., these can either stay on the model to have it like it's racing, or you can take it off to show all the detail that you've worked really hard on. Um, now we'll move on to some of the smaller components. It comes with cloth sticker for the seat belts, which is a really cool detail that to me tend to include in their larger scale models, as well as some photo etch parts for seat belt buckles, etc., and a couple of aluminium parts for the engine as well. Now, in terms of the decals, we have the option to do either number seven or eight, which is the two Carlosses. And obviously they are in the very famous Martini livery, which gives this car a really amazing, really unique look um, and just screams that 70s era of Formula One. Um, so now moving through some of the sprues that the kit comes with to really show the detail. Uh, we've got a little bit of engine detail here, some of the really smaller components that this kit has to offer. Um, then we've got some more larger engine detail and more chassis pieces, uh, linkages through the bottom here for the steering, suspension, etc. Uh, then we got some of the wing and aero pieces in the white. Obviously, all these kits are just in a base plastic color, so I definitely would recommend painting them up yourself. Uh, then we got some of the brake and wheel pieces, as well as some other little bits and bobs. Uh, and then again, more engine detail. Once again, very, very detailed V8 engine that this kit has to offer, which is really fun to build, really awesome experience. Even more engine deca uh, detail, a bit more interior as well and suspension pieces on the bottom there. And one more sprue here with the wheel hubs and a couple of other pieces there. So that pretty much goes through all of the kit. Alrighty, that pretty much wraps up this video with everything that this beautiful 12th scale kit has to offer. Now, it's it's very rare that Tamiya bring out a 12th scale kit. This is a re-release, but still, you don't see them come very often. So it's really nice that they've brought out a really iconic Formula One car back. Um, it's been quite a while since we've actually seen a Formula One car from Tamiya as well. Um, this particular kit is my personal kit. I cannot wait to build it. When I do build it, it'll definitely be up on our YouTube channel in one of the videos, as well as in Instagram, so make sure you give our Instagram a follow. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please follow the channel and I'll see you next time. Cheers.